All right, so this is going to show you how to make your very own slick looking bookshelf with Amazon affiliate ID links so that when people buy a book, you get a commission. So we want to start by making sure you have an Amazon account at Amazon.com. That very same login details will also allow you to log into their affiliate program. You'll have to go to a link, and here's the link on the article. There's an easier way of finding that, and that is to type in Amazon Affiliate, that's A-F-F-I-L-I-A-T-E, into Google, and you'll get the Amazon Associates link. Go to that site, create an account. When you finish creating an account, it will give you a tracking ID, and that tracking ID will look something like Astro Record-20. Alright, so once you've done that, you want to create an account at Shelfari.com. It's a great new site. It's actually really a lot of fun. If you're a big reader, it's um, great fun and you get to meet some cool people and talk about books as well. Once you've created an account at Shelfari, you want to actually um, choose some books and create a list first. And the list might be books you've read or ones that you want to read. Um, next, you want to go to Shelfari.com slash widget. I've already gone to that URL up here, widget. And click on the Get Started link. We'll start creating a widget for your website. Now this widget will go into either your sidebar on your website or into your main page. And so we want to scroll down. The most flexible widget is the JavaScript one. So we want to select that. And we're basically just going to create customizations and make it look the way we like. Now it asks you first to select a list. Um, I've already created one under I've read, so I might create one under I plan to read, a list of books I'm planning to read. And it shows me some of the ones I want to read. Okay, and customize your widget is the next step. So here we can just type in uh, our website into here, call the widget a particular name, um, put in our website address, choose between three different book styles, modern, black and wood. I've just chosen the wood one. Shelf width, you want to click on fit my blog's width, that's the most handy one because it um, makes it full width. Text listing up in this up other tab here will actually create a list of books like this. I prefer the bookshelf, but you can go about creating your own bookshelf there. You want to put in your associate ID if you create a text listing. We'll go back to the bookshelf. Okay, so fit my blog's width, 100%. Shelf height, that allows you to put a, a number of rows, so I can actually bring the rows down to four. Just makes it so it's not so long. Okay, sort order, we can change the order of the books additional content, show pop-up link, and show buy now link in book pop-up, yes. So I've already pasted in my Amazon Associate ID. Scroll back up and go save and continue. All right, so now what it's done is it's spat out a little bit of widget code. And this is the code we're going to paste into our WordPress um, sidebar or page. So I just want to highlight that and go Command-C on a Mac or Control-C if you're on Windows. So that code is what we want to put into our WordPress page. Now, I've already opened up an edit post page for a WordPress post. And the trick here is to do it in what's called HTML mode. If we do it in visual mode, it'll munch up the code and it won't render properly. The key is to actually write your post till you're happy with it. And the last thing you do is paste in the HTML. So I'm basically happy with this post. And then I'm just going to go over here and click on HTML. Now it looks all crazy. But the last the thing I usually do is put the code at the bottom, which makes it easier. Now I've got some code that's already been in there. Just going to delete that, position my cursor, 
and go Command V on a Mac, Control V if you're on Windows, and that pastes in that code. Now, if I switch back to visual mode, it will munch that code and it will, will not render properly. So, what I'm going to need to do is leave it in HTML mode and click on Update Post. All right, now to see our handiwork, we just want to click on Preview Changes here. Wait for it to finish saving. Preview Changes. Now it's going to load up this page and show us what we've, our bookshelf looks like within our website. Oh, and here we go. The bookshelf on our website. If someone clicks on that link and buys the book, you'll get a small commission from Amazon.